Hi guys, do you need another PDF tool for your iPad? Well, there's Read PDF and Read PDF with OCR, and a bunch of other tools to handle invoices, POs, receipts, contracts, and so on. They should be able to extract text for string expressions. But what if you need certain elements like date, amount, custom address, or company name? What about making it so easy so you can add or remove elements without writing a line of code? So we build it. Let's see how it works. So first off, you need to install a very custom PDF to Excel package. There's plenty of tutorials on how you can upload custom packages to your iPad. Please let me know in the comments if you need any assistance. Now make sure you have standard PDF activities available. You will need it for testing. And don't forget to set up your extraction criteria. Now suppose I want invoice and order numbers, invoice date, due date and total due amount. You will need to set this up in the properties as you would for any UI path activity. Now that you should be able to add or remove elements at any time. For example, you could add company name and email. I prepared a test invoice. This is a readable PDF, so you will not need any OCR to read it. Keep in mind that PDF to Excel tool here is not limited to invoices. It could be any PDF or even plain text from emails or file storage. Feel free to experiment and try different inputs. Now let's do some building. Open the studio. Give your file a name. Let's call it PDF. Then start it off as a sequence. We will need standard read PDF text activity from your path to read the text file. If you remember, there's no need for optical character recognition as the file is readable. Now set the path to the file. You will need to set the output to a string variable. Let's call it txt or you can assign it any name you like. I like giving variable descriptive names. I will also use a log message here to capture complete PDF text, but you may choose to skip it. Now we will need a very special PDF to Excel activity. Go to input keywords and set it to the array which has invoice fields which you want in the extraction. Set input to txt. Once we've done that, go to output and set it to a data table variable. Now there's one more step to go. We will need the write range activity to write the output out to workbook and complete the test. Pick a path to store it. Then set the source to the data table we created for PDF to Excel activity. This is the last step in the sequence. Now that's it. Let's run it. Press F5. Now that all text from the PDF got extracted for login purposes. Now let's see what we got extracted. Open the file. As you can see, here we have invoice number, order number, invoice date, due date, and total due amount. You can also use a pan range to add lines to the file in case you have multiple inputs to process. Or you can store the outcome in the database or the CSV file or send an invoice to a back office system. I would leave it up to you, but there's plenty of options how you can handle the output. Now let's summarize. UiPath comes with some tooling to read PDFs, but it takes some coding effort to read specific text and update your filters if needed. Besides, most of the time you will need multiple activities. So we built Excel to PDF activity to straighten it up and make it more maintainable. And now here are some tips for you.
some ideas on how you can apply it in your processes. If you think this video was helpful, please support it with likes. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching and I wish you all a ton of happy automations. Goodbye now.